Okay. Now, what is the speed at which this wave travels in vacuum? The speed is that of the speed of light. Okay, and that is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second or 300,000 kilometers per second. Okay, and this, what Einstein's theory of special relativity tells us is that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. So this is a limit on the fastest known, uh, I mean on the highest speed an object can attain, which gives you some interesting things that happen when you start approaching the speed of light. When an object with mass starts approaching the speed of light, um, then interesting things happen, which again I will come back to towards the end of the semester. But right now, we are going to ignore relativity. We are going to basically be looking at things where um, the objects themselves are not moving anywhere close to the speed of light. So when I say light, what you usually think of when you hear light is visible light. But light is really a spectrum, which is infinite in both directions. So um, the way this figure has categorized this is by either the frequency, which is the top bar, or the wavelength, which is the lower bar. Okay. So remember, V is equal to lambda times, maybe I should write this on here. So V is lambda times frequency, or if you like, in the case of the speed of light, it's that C is lambda times frequency. So as if the speed is fixed, as frequency goes up, wavelength goes down. So frequency increases in this direction, wavelength increases in this direction. But for every frequency, there's a corresponding wavelength. So visible light is just a tiny, tiny portion of the spectrum. Okay? Light includes everything from radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, ultraviolet rays, and on to, on this direction, X-rays and gamma rays. Okay? So here the wavelengths are small, but the frequency is high. Here the wavelengths are large, but the frequency is low. So you can see various phenomena. For example, x-rays would be over here, 10 to the negative 10 meters. That's of the order of the size of an atom. Um, this is why you use uh, x-rays to visualize atoms or to visualize structures like your bones. But you can also use x-rays to look inside materials like crystals. You can use x-ray crystallography. For those of you who are going to do something in biochemistry or molecular biology, you can use x-rays to look at crystallized proteins, for example. Um, x-rays are very useful to look at small, re resolved small-scale structure in those proteins. But then you could um, go to slightly larger wavelengths and get electron-based techniques like electron diffraction that would be over here. Um, and then you get to visible light. So, you know, the reason light is not useful to look at atomic scale structure or protein structure, uh, the small scale structure of proteins, is because light's wavelength is a little larger. And the smallest object you can look at with a particular frequency or wavelength of light is of order the wavelength of the light itself. So, the wavelength of the light over here, you can see is of order 100 nanometers. Actually, the spectrum of visible light goes from, anybody know what is the wavelength of visible light, the range in uh, any units? So 400 to 750 nanometers. A nanometer is 10 to the negative 9 meters. So 400 would be which side? Small wavelength is? Sorry? What color light would be the 400 nanometers? The smaller wavelength would be? Yes, violet, blue. Smaller wavelength, 400 nanometers to 750 nanometers, which is red. Okay, so that's the uh, range of uh, visible light. Your cell phone communication and all is over here. 
in the microwave range, it's getting in the gigahertz range, it's getting very, very crowded over there because again, cell phone communications are in a narrow band over that. When we get to electromagnetic waves, maybe I'll say more about the rest of the spectrum. But for now, we are going to ignore everything else and focus on this tiny portion of the visible spectrum. Okay, and that we are, so we are going to, in all of geometric optics, talk about visible light. 